For all the news about President Trump, the hottest story in Washington right now may just be about the giant panda Bao Bao, who's about to be sent halfway around the world. And a lot of people in the nation's capital are sad to see her go. Here's our Power Player of the Week. Here she comes. We got some behind the scenes time with Bao Bao this week as the National Zoo made final preparations to send her to a new life in China. First stop, a scale. The way to any panda's heart is a little bit of um, honey water. Good girl. And that way she'll stand still voluntarily and we can get a weight on her. Brandy Smith, who's a senior administrator at the zoo, took us through Bao Bao's paces. With the aid of honey water and hand signals, she put her paw out for a blood test. That's where the vein is in a panda's arm, and you can see the staff are pressing that vein, so she's used to it. They also trained her to cooperate once she becomes pregnant in China. He laid out. And one keeper is always keeping her head busy, and then now Shelly's training her for an ultrasound, so she's getting her used to having her stomach touched. That's why thousands of people are coming to the zoo and millions more watching on Panda Cam to say goodbye to Bao Bao. Since she was born, the arrangement has always been she would return to China before she turned four to reproduce. So these days have become a celebration of her life here. Her miracle birth after her mom had failed to produce a cub for almost a decade. Early training, playing in the snow, and other adventures, and exploring the world around her. Oh, I guess that's the only reaction you can have. She's a little bit sleepy this morning. We go back a long way with her. Well, three years anyway, when baby Baba was just six months old. She weighed 25 pounds then, not 200. And I was one of the first outsiders who got to feed her. You can see if she wants some. Yeah, she's liking that a little bit. She looks very grown up when she does this. I, for one, am very proud of her. <laughs> Don't put your hands too close. So no, I got yeah. that. <laughs> That's not a problem. Feeding Bao Bao now is a different proposition. Three years ago, Bao Bao, remember? Here we go. Here we go. Do, do you like that? Ah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> wow. Baba, you've grown up. So you've just made a panda very happy. <laughs> but Baba's main task is to get used to the crate that will be your home. For the 16 hour non stop Federal Express flight this week to the Panda Center at Chengdu. Why do you think her farewell is such a big deal? Sometimes people say that pandas receive too much attention, right? But this is what it takes to save an endangered species. Bao Bao is part of that success story. The panda population has increased 17% over a decade. But for the folks who've taken care of her these last few years, her leaving is still emotional. Of course I am. She's my girl. But it, I think of it like a child going off to college. She's going on to better things. She's going on to have cubs of her own. And I'm so happy for her. It's hard for me to be sad right now. Baba flies to China on Tuesday, and officials at the National Zoo are taking every step to make sure it goes smoothly, even a backup vehicle on the ride to the airport in case Baobao's breaks down. After all, says one zoo official, the world will be watching.